A day after Veterans Day, we honor this American veteran whose story, like so many of our vets and wounded warriors, speaks not only of gallantry on the battlefield, but resilience here at home. Three years ago, as Captain... And so it was on an August day three years ago that Flo found himself leading a group of American and Afghan soldiers as they escorted their commanders to a meeting with local Afghans. It was a journey that the team had done many times before, a short walk on foot, including passage over a narrow bridge. At first, they passed pedestrians, a few cars and bicycles, even some children. But then they began to approach the bridge, and a pair of motorcycles sped toward them from the other side. The Afghan troops shouted at the bikers to stop, and they did, ditching their bikes in the middle of the bridge and running away. And that's when Flo noticed something to his left, a man dressed in dark clothing walking backwards just some 10 feet away. The man spun around and turned toward them, and that's when Flo sprinted toward him. He pushed him away from the formation, and as he did, he noticed an object under the man's clothing, a bomb. The motorcycles had been a diversion. And at that moment, Flo did something extraordinary. He grabbed the bomber by his vest and kept pushing him away. And all those years of training on the track, in the classroom, out in the field, all of it came together in those few seconds. Uh, he had the instincts and the courage to do what was needed. The truth is, Flo says that day was the worst day of his life, and that is the stark reality behind these Medal of Honor ceremonies. That for all the valor we celebrate, all the courage that inspires us, these actions were demanded amid some of the most dreadful moments of war. That's precisely why we honor heroes like Flo, because on his very worst day, he managed to summon his very best. That's the nature of courage. 